welcome, welcome, welcome to Stardew Valley. This is just, this first episode is just going to be like a pre-recorded thing as I'm setting up the, the uh, server. I plan on playing with my sister and I plan on actually streaming it. But for right now, I'm kind of getting some things set up and I figured I'd just go through the, the intro. I did that. The first bit, quiet. Don't know at this point if I'll have done any sort of a voiceover thing at the moment, but at least in the moment of recording, I thought, let's keep it, keep it quiet and simple. But now we're here in the valley, and I can get things started and see, and make sure that I have things set up properly for my sister. Um, with that said, we've now met Robin at the, the bus stop. Neko, I'm happy to see you again. It's been a couple months. I can't believe it's move-in day for you. Everyone in town is excited you're officially a resident of Stardew Valley. I finished repairing the bridge, restoring electricity to the cottage, restored most of the fences and the other various tasks you assigned me to do. Let's head over to, head over to Colab Farm so I can show you. I also have a surprise as well. Backyard. Look at the little pet bowl. Lewis and I cleaned up the backyard and I constructed a pet area for you. This is our way of welcoming you to the valley, Nico. Lewis is inside the cottage preparing some things for you still. Since he's busy, this is a good opportunity for me to show you the repaired bridge. Sorry about the branches, we had a windstorm last week. Last time you saw the bridge a couple months ago, it was partially collapsed. I did my best to repair it. It wasn't that easy. I've repaired wooden bridges before, but not stone ones. So, with the bridge, fence, and shipping bin repairs, restoring the electricity and water to the cottage, overhauling the cottage interior, renovating the fireplace and land survey, the grand total of the cost will be 103,500 gold. I'll only have 500 gold left. I have just enough. I don't have the money for the greenhouse repairs right now. Sorry it was so expensive, Neko. The bridge repairs alone came up to 45,000 gold. The stone slabs I purchased and equipment I rented wasn't cheap. Lewis should be finishing up right around now. We should head back to the cottage. I'll go get Lewis. He's inside. There's Lewis. It has been some time since we last saw each other. I hope the improvements we've made to Collab Farm and your grandpa's cottage will make it easier to get settled in. Your furniture and belongings arrived a couple days ago. Everything is inside. Robin, did you show Neko the improvements out here? It did. Neko is happy with the work that's been done. Good to hear. All these years is enough time for farmland to turn into this, so you'll need various tools to get started. Clint, the local back blacksmith, made tools to help you get started on clearing away debris and trees. There's an axe, pickaxe, hoe, scythe, and watering can in your cottage. It'll be a lot of work turning Colab Farm into what it once was. Your grandpa would be proud of you. Tomorrow, you should introduce yourself to the villagers. Everyone in the valley knows you just moved in. 
Demetrius, my husband, is excited to meet you. Drop by our house in the mountains when you have a chance. The other farmers are thrilled to have another cultivator in the valley. You should stop by their farms when you get a chance as well. We're going to leave so you can get settled in. If you have any questions or concerns, you know where to find us. If you get cold, you can use the fireplace. It works great now. We'll see you tomorrow. Get settled in. <laughs> Yay! So, if you somehow missed it, I should have put an image to note that this is modded Stardew Valley, so I'm playing with Stardew Valley Expanded. Um, also reasons for future streams is I'm sure there was some background noise just now, and I can't really get rid of that, so it's just easier to remember that I'm in a house with other people and kind of live with it. Um, I'm going to zoom this out a little bit. And we got parsnip seeds! Yay! It's a little something to get you started. So we need to cultivate parsnip and meet 43 people. Out of all the mods and stuff that I have installed, there are 43 people to meet. Oops. Okay, so... I'm actually I'm playing more zoom now. So we'll do that. So... Um, step one, really, is going to get a box. I have changed some, some settings, so I think normally the chest would be 50, but it's actually 100 now, which might, might take me a minute. There, now I have 100. So I'll go ahead and make a box. And for right now... I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the box right here next to my house. Let me put those there. Then I will clear this spot. At least start. Um, start with the little parsnips. Let's see. Right there. ahead and put these in the box and then I'll put those in there for right now as well because there's not a whole lot I'm gonna do before I actually stream now starting cabin was one so there should be oh there it is Okay, so when we start streaming, this will be Sister Scabbing, which is fine. Okay, so now that I have the box, I know where her cabin is, let's just go meet some people. I think I'll probably just kind of play the one day, and at the end of this, this day after meeting some people, I think I'll go over a couple of the the other mods that I have, some of them will be kind of obvious looking at them, but, yay, here's town. Anyone who's played Stardew Expanded before will be familiar with this, but, hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. I'll see you around. Oh, if I just wait a minute. Um, dog. Uh, he gave Dusty mini bits. 
now it's nine, so I should be able to go into people's houses, right? Yeah. So here's George. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Now go on us. And Evelyn. Hi, right, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Tina. And little new boy, James. You must be that new farmer my grandma was talking about. Did you just move here? My name is James. Nice to meet you. Hello, Pam. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. We'll just come say hi to him anyway. Good morning, Lewis. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Well, you could always replace the bed, yeah. The bed's easier to replace than the house. Okay, I'm gonna come this way. We've got a little community garden for anyone who hasn't seen. There's not much that will happen with that. I know there's a couple of events, but here's the museum. I've got some glass here. What's this book? Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload, or hasten crop growth. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear, or else it may not grow properly. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow in multiple seasons. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with a scythe. Hello there, welcome to Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? I accidentally clicked again. Walk away! Okay, and then... Clint. Hello. Hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Those tools I made for you working out, spend a couple days smithing them. And yeah, they look I don't need to walk that way. Can't see who's at work. Joja Mark. Life's better with Joja. Don't think so. Hello, Claire. I don't really know you. Well. Yeah, well. Claire is me. I love that little. She's like, no. No thanks. Shane's hard at work. Nobody else here. I'll go say hi to Morris. I don't think I need to, but I kind of say hi anyway. Hello, Morris. Ah, it's Farmer Neko. Welcome to the valley. My name is Morris, manager of Jojo Mart. If you need cheap quality seeds, there's no better place than Jojo Mart. I wouldn't bother with Pierre's store. Jojo's seeds are much better than his. Price regarding Peter, it's fine. Alright, let's come back this way. Because there's this new household. And its residents are both right here. Hello, sir. Oh, hey there. You're the new owner of Colab Farm. I'm Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you. Neko, is it? And his mother. Oh my, aren't you a cutie? Welcome to the valley, dear. It's so exciting when someone new moves in. Have you met my son, Victor? Yeah. And then... Here's Pierre's shop. But... Surprise, that's not Pierre. Hey, it's Miss Neko, the new, new farmer. I'm Piper, co-owner of the local grocery general store. Excuse me, with my wife, Carolyn. If you're looking for seeds, our shop is the place to go. We also buy produce from you for a good price. Surprise! 
always appear as a woman. Abigail! Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving to onto that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Oh, then we got your way. I'm still anyway. And then I can't get to Carolyn right now, but that's okay. Hello, Gus. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of Star of the Stardrop Saloon. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Milo. Oh, you're the new farmer, right? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, and I should be able to come here now. Yeah, there's a walk around this way. Oops, stuck on the corner. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Well, isn't he pleasant? There goes Gus. Ah, oh, yes, a new child. Adrian. Hello, my name is Adrian. I live with my sister and my mom and dad in the grocery store. Oh, you live with your mom and mom. Around this way and say hello to Penny. Look at her. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Penny. And Leah, short hair. It's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. And no one's in a area I can get to, so I'll have to meet them later. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. And Mama. Oh, you weren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. It's hard to tell if she is disappointed. That's okay. And look at all the cute cows. There's Leah's cottage. Stuck on trees. Up oh, here's Haley. Oh, you're that new farmer, aren't you? Yeah, it's too involved with the camera. Taking pictures. Run right away from the camera. Okay. Whoop, he's uh, just sliding around. Would you look at that? It's the new farm where everyone has been talking about. Finally moved to the valley, I see. I've been working Fairhaven Farm here for many years. It ain't much, but it's honest work. You're lucky you got that free property from your grandpa. I'm sure. Uh, let's walk this way. There's a couple areas I'm not going to bother to go to just yet. There's not much point in it. There are some other spaces. That's what I was going with that. Oh, there she is. Hi, hey, yo, you must be the new farmer. I'm Lacey. I also moved here recently. I'm still getting settled. Come visit if you need company, okay, Polk? New hat maps. Um, oh, I wonder if he was ever fixed for that. A lot of times in this spot he wouldn't talk. Hello, I'm Douglas. You look like a farmer. Have you met my dad? He's the one with the strange hat. No, I don't get to meet him just yet. Okay, so that's... Hello, there's Jess. Hello, Jess. Hi. And then there's a couple people over this way. From the new circle. Say hi to Marnie first. Ah, uh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Just storing products. 
Alright, I don't really know you, Fiona. Hello there. I'm your fairy princess, Faye. Welcome to Pelican Town. Your name's Fiona. You're Dimitri. You just moved here? Nice. Welcome to Pelican Town. Let's see. Yeah, there's a bit of those people. Um, I think as far as making sure things are set up right, mod should be in order. Just give myself a pack up here to the cabin. Yeah, here we go. So, there was some people. Um, you can see up here there's minecart. That's the integrated minecarts. That'll help when we get um, get the minecarts actually unlocked later. Because certain areas are really big and it'll help go across. Um, some of the important mods that we're going over. I have automate because things I'm sure we'll get. Between the two of us we'll pick up a lot of stuff. But still not be able to get everything done. Um, but there's lots of little things. There's a lot of new cats and dogs that'll be in here. Um, the farmer portraits thing is something that I'm using. That's where my farmer keeps popping up. Um, there's the integrated minecarts. There's some characters in here. And lots of other stuff. This, the full, full mod list, because I don't think everything shows up there, um, should be in the description. And I'll try to make sure that it's in the description of all the streams as well. Um, one thing I wanted to check before I finish this day is whether or not I can buy the mirror. When I started the multiplayer map, it didn't give me the option of starting with the mirror. Oh, look, there's Carolyn. It must be Neko the new farmer. I'm Carolyn. Yeah, she's got the brunette hair. You'll notice Haley is different. Leah is different. There's a lot of people that are different from their um, vanilla variants, but some even are different from the normal uh, diverse Stardew Valley variants, which is what I normally use a lot of is the, the diverse. But like, um, Haley's a good, good example of that, where she does look different. Okay, so I would need a thousand to get the hand mirror. Let's see. I don't know if there's really anything that I can get to to get me a thousand. I want to get the mirror. Let's see if we can find some forage. And probably meet some more people, because here's Maru. Aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. And then this little girl is Vanessa. She said I don't know you and I skipped it. Let's see if there's anything up in the mountains. Oh, there's a little worries for me. Which gave me some clay. And there's Linus walking away. Linus, come here, let me say hi. A stranger, hello. Look at his little flower crown, that's cute. Okay, let's come steal this flower. Can't go that way. That's okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll see if I can get some stuff going here. I think I'll still have to play a second day, but I might just do that off camera anyway. Because I have that portrait mod that I mentioned also has outfits attached and no one needs to watch me do outfits so I'll probably just play one more day. Do I want to play it on my own? We meet Willie tomorrow. Okay, I'll put that in there. I just don't think I really have much. I'll get more of that. I don't think we get much for it but I can put that in there. Alright, I guess I'll just clear some land for the rest of the day. Oh, 
wonder if I'm able to move the cabin. I don't know. I haven't really tried to do anything with Robin on day one. It's 4.30. Will I make it and see if she can move it? Because it'd be better if that second cabin wasn't so far into everything. I'm taking... Hello, Robin. Can you... Yeah, let's construct... Oh! Cool. I didn't know we could do that. That's really nice. I just want to actually move. Because we can move the main cabin now, too. But, let's move this one. Right there. At least for right now. Once things are cleared out, she can choose another place if she'd like. But that way it's not that hard for her to get there. That's good to know that we'll be able to construct buildings in the fields later. Hi, Tina. And Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Studying local plants and animals from my home. Have you met? Yeah, I've met Maro. Yeah. How many people have I made? needed? Oh my goodness, English. 32 of 43, okay. Can't English, it's fine. There's, I can see on the map, Luna. Let's see if she's accurate. Hello again, Vanessa. There it is. And this is also a new character. Hello, Luna. I haven't seen you here before. My name's Luna. I hope you live a prosperous life here in this town. Thanks, Luna. There's a bench there. Here's a little playground and a burned down schoolhouse. I've been wanting to kind of play with that and see what happens. Especially since I added more children to this game. It'd be nice if they had somewhere other than the museum library to hang out and use that playground. Quote unquote, use the playground. I don't know if they'll ever actually use it, it's fine. Well. Looks like people are really moving around. Let's see if I can come meet some extra people. It was 32 of 43, so I have 11, right? We talk to you, but not you. This one's Faye. Yeah, so Fiona introduced herself wrong. I don't know. It's probably just a little glitch in their programming. There's Leah again. Black pig. Finn of the Outer Kingdoms. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Um, okay, so I know I haven't met Sophia yet. She's in her house, it looks like. We'll meet Willie tomorrow. Oh No, Elliot, don't walk away from me. The new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Bye. Okay, this is Blue Moon Vineyard. For Sophia. Is she it looks like she's inside? Yeah, in the kitchen. Hello! Yeah, that's the proper response to someone being in your house. Yes, I'm the new farmer. And it's okay. The owner of Blue Moon Vineyard. Bye! And this goes this way. Ta da! Um, why didn't I 
necessarily going to cheat this way, but it's fine because we'll show. I'll really talk to everybody later. So. I'm not gonna meet everyone today anyway. Okay. I'm not sure when we'd have access to Marlin. Probably after that boulder block in the path, obviously. But I can never remember when that is. There's Dimitri again. So we'll come show off this little new area. It's called Cinder Snap Circle, I believe. That has some new people. Yeah. Milo, here's Bryson. And then there's Fiona we talked to earlier. Sky. You don't look like a farmer. No offense or anything. It's nice to meet you. Well, at least you. Yeah, there's some. Some graphical issues, but I think it's just one person who very slowly works on this this mod anyway, and it's not like broken, so it's good enough for me. Okay. Yeah, got a cabin that's got nothing in here that'll be hers when she gets here. I won't steal her stuff. It's probably just seats. Actually, can I even take that? Yeah. Didn't think so. And that's totally fine. Okay, put that in the BS box. And... Just clear some of this out for night time before it gets too dark. some energy. like it's officially nighttime. That's okay. We'll put that stuff in there. Go ahead and sell that. And we'll sleep it off. Yep. Level 1 forging. Okay. Ooh, all of 162 gold. I'm not surprised. But we'll be meeting Willie and getting the fishing rod. So then he can sell some fish. Because my goal with this first few days is to get that hand mirror. Since I wasn't allowed to start with it. Mail time! Dear Farmer, congratulations! You've won a subscription to our Angler's Guide, which is full of fishing tips for the season. You'll be receiving each edition of Fishing Magazine on the 10th of each month. A courtesy of Fishing Spotlight Editors. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Lily. Cool. Well, we'll start by watering. Forge thing. Dandelion. Pick that up. Daffodil. Excuse me. I don't know my flowers. My bad. Everyone will still be in bed for a little bit. That's quite alright. 
made. Just one around here. Go this way to the beach. Hello, Lily. Oh, hi there, miss. I heard there was a new friend in town. Good to finally meet you. Uh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Just good for me. So it means I should be able to get up. 15, right? Hello, Willie. It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. It's stuck on his thing. Alright. It's gonna be super obvious, but I have... Oops. Not super obvious if I mess up the first catch. I have a fishing rod to help me skip the minigame. Because I don't like it. I'm very bad at it. I've never liked it. So I'm skipping it. But that's the only thing that I have changed for this that fishing rod. It has a lot of different options for things to do but I only made it to where it skips the minigame and with skipping the minigame also gives the perfect catch because I wouldn't have a chance of that. But I still have to cast myself, I still have to click it when it catches it's everything that's just not involving the minigame. So it's a little bit of a cheat, but I need it. I'd never be able to catch any fish if I didn't do this. And there's also new fish. This isn't a base game fish. gonna fish for a little bit until Willie goes back inside. <clears throat> hello Willie. That's Oh, I'm so close. Mm, there's this little bobber machine. I'm just gonna hit random so as things unlock, it'll be different every time I cast. It's fine. So I just need a few more. I could go, I can see the bubbles back here. I could go to that one to get a couple quick fish. Because I'm so close. So you know what? I'm gonna do that. Let's see. That's not far enough. There we go. It's close enough. Oh, and I got a couple things. Which I may go in. Look, I don't. I'm sure some of these cutscenes she'll probably miss, but if she really wants to come see them, she'll be able to go watch the video. That's why I don't want to do too many days, I just wanted to do the two max. That way she misses as little as possible with the new stuff, because she's never played modded before.
I don't know if she even knows that trick. Okay, let's... Oh, well, we can definitely get those. Let's do... Oh, of course it went right in the water. It always does. Alright. Okay, so that gives us plenty. Time to run up to the piers. Grab these things on the way. And then. Give. Hmm. Okay. Oh, now I don't have a spot for the mirror. But I should be able to sell at least that. Okay, so I can make a space. Hello, Robin. And there's Lacey. Okay, oh, I can sell both of these. Good. And then all the way down here for that. Goal achieved for the day. Now we'll just kind of play, maybe. Hello, Carolyn. I need to talk to Penny about Adrian's grades. Oh, is he not doing good? He looks so smart. Adrian can be annoying sometimes, but I wouldn't trade him for the world. What a good big sister. I think this is his room. Yeah, the only room we're allowed to go in without knowing him super well. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Just get a walk through each other, huh? Hello, Joey. My husband Kent is a journalist working overseas. That's why he's not here right now. I know he'll come back safe once his assignment is over. Hello, dear. Having a productive day today. Don't overwork and hurt yourself. I wouldn't want you moving away so soon. Oh, I can read it in your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. What pronouns, pronouns do you use? I use all of them. I find it a good habit to ask. Oh, hello, Marnie. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place the last few months. Hmm. Lacey, hi there. Stocking up on seeds? I like to shop here on Tuesday since it'll be closed tomorrow. people that I needed to meet. I met Haley. Sam must be inside. Oh, look, there's Haley. Not practicing. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Well, this... I think will be where I leave it for an introductory episode. This was more just to make sure that um, this was established and that I could get some things done essentially off screen without wasting everybody's time looking at it. Like getting everything done with the, the mirror because this opens fashion sets so there'll be lots of stuff that I can do that I'll do off camera and then it'll be a little bit of a surprise with the actual straight when when not change into what. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. I'll be meeting with my sister later and we'll come up with some sort of time. But uh, hopefully streams won't be too far after this. So I hope to see you all there.